Hi, I'm Sammy, and I am going to do a quick demo here of my Zombie Drone software. Uh, basically, Zombie Drone is a piece of software that runs with my uh, Parrot drone. Um, it actually uses a Raspberry Pi computer. I'll go into the details later on that. Flies around looking for other drones. As soon as it finds any other drones, it hacks into that drone's wireless network disconnects the owner, and then takes over that drone. So my drone is flying around, finds drones, takes them over, and then begins controlling them under my command. Uh, really cool software, really fun. So I'll do a quick demo, and then I'll go into the details. So it's this drone strike application. And what it does right now is you can actually see my iPad connected to the drone. Um, so that's a, a live image from uh, hey drone. That's a, a live image from there. So it looks like the drone strike application found uh, found someone connected to a drone is basically disconnecting that user. So actually, the iPad should disconnect in a moment. Yep. So now it says control link not available, and now it's attempting to connect to the drone that it hacked, uh, and then it's going to turn it on and take it over. Uh, pretty awesome. Well, that's just going to fly around, so I'm going to grab that real quick. And that's the uh, drone strike application. So I will go into the technical details in just a moment. All right, so now I'll go over the uh, technical parts of the drone strike software slash drone hardware. So, of course, we have the drone itself. This is a, a Parrot AR Drone 2. Um, you can get them for about 300 bucks, uh, and they're really, they're really awesome. You basically connect to it with an iOS device. They probably have Android support. Um, you can actually connect to it through your computer or anything that supports Wi-Fi. Um, there's a protocol that you can communicate with it, and what I'm doing is I'm using a Raspberry Pi computer. So this little guy right here. Um, it's about a $25 or $35 computer, depending on which uh, which version you get. This is uh, the Raspberry Pi B, I believe, so probably $35. Bucks. Um, and it runs Linux. It uh, has an SD card that you can install Linux and everything else on it. Uh, it has a bunch of outputs. It has like an HDMI output. Uh, I don't use it. I prefer to just SSH into the machine or, or connect to it. Um, I use a wireless chip. I always use like one of these small Eddie Max wireless uh, dongles. Um, and in this scenario, I'm actually using the Alpha AWUS036H uh, wireless card. And the great thing about this is it has the type of chip inside that allows us to hack other wireless networks. Specifically, it can go into something called monitor mode, where you can monitor raw packets that are flying back and forth from other access points from other wireless networks, from other wireless clients, even if you're not on the network, even if you 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 know even if the network is encrypted, it also allows you to inject raw packets, uh, raw wireless packets. So, in the drone strike application, what I'm doing is first uh, the Raspberry Pi is running independently. Um, it's powered by a USB battery pack, so you can get a USB battery pack. You'll probably want something that can output close to an amp um, just because the Raspberry Pi will probably need that uh, along with the, the wireless driver. Um, but you also need to keep your weight down because your drone can only carry about 400 grams, um, give or take. So the Raspberry Pi starts up, runs Linux, it's powered by the USB battery, uh, has the wireless uh, card connected via USB. and what happens is it starts scanning for wireless networks in monitor mode. It scans for any wireless network. If it sees any wireless networks that match the MAC address of any of the Parrot Macs, and this is a global Mac, uh, they, own, they own basically a block of unique addresses that all Parrot drones have. All of them will have some sort of unique address within this block. I just search for that block, and I'll see it. So if I see any drone at all, I, I don't have to know anything about it. It then sends a de-authentication request uh, using the awesome software called Aircrack. Uh, Aircrack is basically software for 
cracking wireless networks, but it also has features like deauthentication, where it can disconnect the user. So when I'm connected to my drone, or when someone's connected to their drone with their iPhone or iPad, it then disconnects them, as you saw earlier in the demo. Once it disconnects them, then it's able to connect, and it pretends to be that owner, the owner of the drone. And once it connects, I'm using a Node.js and the Node, I believe it's called the AR Drone Library. It's available on GitHub. I will put the link in uh, on my page here uh, so you can check out that code. Uh, it's written by someone else. Really awesome library that allows you to easily communicate with the drones from JavaScript. So you can write a few lines of JavaScript and control the drone. You can move it around. You can uh, get the video input, the images from the actual camera. Um, they have HD cameras on them. I believe they're 720p. Right there, you can see. They also have a, a small camera on the bottom. Um, I believe these guys are sonar, that's my guess. Uh, but that dot there should be another camera. It's not as good as the, the front facing, though. So the drone strike application looks around, finds any drones, finds anyone who's connected to the drones, deauthenticates the drone, um, connects to the drone using the Node.js library and then takes over. Uh, it starts actually recording images from the front-facing camera as well, and you can watch that live. Uh, I actually use a second wireless chip, so I actually have a second wireless chip on here, uh, and you can have that either broadcast or its own wireless network, so that I can then connect to my Raspberry Pi from a computer or phone and watch all the other drones and what they're doing, basically all the zombie drones. Uh, so. That's most of the technical stuff. Uh, I'll put all the code online. Check out the link if you're not already on, uh, on the page that has all the code. And um, this was fun. This was a fun video. I learned how to use rec video recording software after many hours of trying to get it working. Um, and that's it. All right, thanks.